If you think Copilot in Excel is useless, this video is for you. Maybe you already tried it and you're kind of disappointed. Let me change your mind because Copilot just got better. Let me show you five things it can do right now. And stay until the end because at the end, I will show you how it can even help you with financial modeling. The first use case is just to ask insights on your data to evidence some of the information you might have missed. So you can see here, I am in Excel and I see on the top right, the Copilot button. So how do you get this Copilot inside your Excel, well, you need to have a subscription called Microsoft 365. With this subscription, you'll have Copilot in Excel, in PowerPoint, in Outlook, but also in Word. Here, my file is where we show the revenue data for a SaaS company. You can see the file where we have the customer ID, the different transactions, and the revenue, and some churn probability. I'm going to click Copilot, and there, straight away, Copilot arrives with some suggestions, but I'm just going to type show me insights on the revenue because I want to know here what can I learn from this table. And you see that straight away, I am able to see a lot of insights on the revenue. But the best is that I can click, can I see other insights? And if you do that several times, you will get for you a lot of insights that you will have needed much more time to produce. Then I will click add all insights to the grid. Here we have a dashboard that you can use for your business. And you can even tweak it because in the bottom, you have the pivot table that can help you to adjust those graphs. So imagine how fast we were able to build a dashboard with insights. This is the power of Copilot is to help you with preliminary analytics. That was the first tip. Now let's go to the second tip. After building our dashboard, we can use Copilot to do some tasks much faster than if we will do alone. For example, one thing that takes me always a lot of time, even if I am really good with Excel, it's conditional formatting with formulas. So here, let's imagine that I want to highlight the sales just for the enterprise plan. And I want to see which one have a revenue above 5,000. That will imply really complicated formulas in conditional formatting, which never works for me for the first time. I always have to do it two or three times. Look at the formula. And if I just say apply, look at what is happening. Now I have the sales highlighted where the revenue is above 5,000. Again, like that was really fast. And if I want also to highlight the revenue sale, I just need to ask it. And that's really cool because because you will be much faster by describing what you want rather than trying to tweak yourself the formulas. So let's see, now I'm going to click apply. I just changed the formula and I changed the conditional formatting so I can move forward now and my data looks much better. Again, how long did we take? One or two minutes? Conditional formatting with formulas, it's never something that easy and that straightforward. Use case number three, let's see how we can use Copilot to help us create columns with new formulas. I'm going into my file and you see that there is the option suggest a formula column. So when I click on it, I get based on the data, a suggestion that I should calculate the revenue per active user. And now I click insert column. And this is really a function that I like because I get both the insights on a new KPI and on top straight away the calculation. As you can see here, I can continue by asking to highlight as well the churn risk level. This is a function which you should try because you know, there's a lot of things and a lot of KPIs that you might ignore. And here, Copilot is using both AI for the knowledge, but also the formula knowledge of Excel for both helping you to add the KPIs and put them straight away into your file. Let's move to the fourth use case, complex formulas with Copilot. Even me, with 20 years using Excel and knowing almost all of the formulas that I can type without looking at the screen, I still struggle with some of the formulas because some of the formulas I don't use every day. Before going to Google, before going to ChatGPT to ask for help, actually Copilot can write these formulas for you. Let me show you how. So we are back into the same Excel file with our SAS data. I will ask Copilot to help me with the formula. The prompt is a bit more complex because what I'm asking is actually to show the next 12 months. And I want to know each time it's January, I want that it shows the revenue of January in the column January, but I don't want that it shows February. And there the formula is a bit complex, but also if you have to do it for January, February, March, April, May, etc etc you need to have a lot of variables you need to play with the dollars it's not something that will work the first time you trade you will need like maybe five to ten minutes to have something that works well let's see if copilot can be faster than us so i'm asking copilot to create those 12 columns from january to december and i want in each column to show the monthly revenue of the month this is here first a good help on how to build it without that we have it already in the file and now that we have the formulas we 
can insert the columns and look, this is much faster than if you do it alone. You have for each month, the formula that shows exactly the revenue. And that's where I want always to show it didn't work perfectly with AI is often 90, 95%. If you just ask, okay, now do December, we'll get for December, the column with formulas. So now let's see how fast Copilot can build that for us. And now as well, we have the column for December. So you see, if you wanted to have this value in a different columns, and if you wanted to build that, probably it will not have taken you these two minutes but maybe 10, 15 minutes. Because first you need to find out what is the right formula. Then you need to copy and paste. You need to create the 12 different columns. And even if you are really good at Excel, I'm sure you will not have made that the first time because you need to think about what is the best formula for this. That's again, a big advantage to ask Copilot to build formulas for you. Now, let me show you my favorite way to use Copilot when I'm lazy and I want to build a mini financial model. For example, imagine your boss came and you need to plan the headcounts for the next two years. Are you going to start from scratch or are you going to use AI to create the model for you? If you're on this channel, you're probably going to use AI to create this channel for you. But before I'm showing it to you how I will do it, let me remind you that I have the AI Finance Club where this type of learning we already shared with more than 800 AI CFOs that are in our AI Finance Club. Our members got access to a two hours masterclass on Copilot in Excel done by one of our our expert, Christian Martinez, who is also a LinkedIn instructor. If you join the AI Finance Club, you can get access to this class. We also have, in terms of course, Copilot for Finance course, and a lot of other courses, a lot of other masterclasses, and more than 800 AI CFOs in the community. If you want to join, just check the link in the description. So back now to how to do a simple financial model with Copilot. So here I start on a blank page. So I'm going to ask Copilot to help me create a financial model for the headcounts, but also for the cost, the salary cost, the tax cost, the bonuses. I'm asking for the next two years. I'm giving the assumptions. I'm explicitly asking Copilot to create formulas. I'm also explaining what I want to have in rows, what I want to have in columns. In a few seconds, Copilot shows me the structure, shows me also the formulas and explain me how to use this formula. But the best is if you are happy with the proposition, instead of doing it yourself, ask Copilot to create a sample for you. Let's see what happens if I ask to create a sample table. After a few seconds, Copilot has worked on the sample and we don't have, as you will see, all of the months yet because we only have like January to March and then the December value. But this is something you can change after. You can have the model for you and look here how good it is. It's formatted. It has the formulas. It has the assumptions. Really like in two minutes, you are already there and you just need to expand and enter your own assumption. Either you are really good with Excel and maybe like me, you are lazy. You you just want to get it done faster. Or if you are not that good, but you know what you want, you can describe to Copilot and then get a model built for you. So of course, we are not there yet with crazy financial models, with a lot of tabs, with a lot of links everywhere, but this is just the beginning. And this is why when I teach Copilot to companies, when I teach also other tools like ChatGPT or Gemini for companies, I always encourage to start now because Copilot got so much better already. Copilot is also going to get better in the future because I'm in contact with Microsoft and they explained us like what they have on their roadmap, which I cannot tell you because I'm under NDA, but what is on the roadmap really encouraged me to believe that Copilot will help us even more. As every three months we see new developments, the fact that you start with Copilot today will help you get ready and mature when those new developments come. So if you are an individual, start now. If you are a manager, make sure your team has access to Copilot, train them on this or ask me if you need any help like this when those AI tools will get much better your team will be ready your team will know already how to use it you will be much faster than all of your other peers or other companies to implement it and get the benefits straight away and if you want to continue to learn I have actually a course on how to use ChatGPT for finance just check this video it's the course you need to start if you don't know how to use AI for finance start with this course and you'll be already ahead compared to a lot of finance professionals this 
this video is for free, just click there and you will get access to this course and you can watch the video with this course. Make sure you subscribe to get the new video because we are going to do even more use cases for AI and finance. And every week you get new videos from me, practical use cases, new tools, new functionalities from a finance guy who loves to use AI and to teach other finance pro how to use it. If you like this video and you found something valuable, leave a comment to tell me what was the best use case. I will see you in the next video.